Between the time when the ocean drank Atlantis and the rise of the sons of Arius, there was an age undreamed of. And on to this, cryptic, destined to wear the jeweled crown of Aquilonia upon a troubled brow. It is I, his chronicler, who alone can tell thee of his saga. Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. What's up, all you crazy human beings? And welcome back. To Fallout 3. Game of the Year edition. We're picking up where we left off. You can't see it yet, but we're in Megaton. I assure you. I assure you we're there. That's where we're at. What's up, Black Feathers? Very kind words. Thank you. You are too kind, my goodness. Better knock it off. You're making me blush. We got a couple more errands to run for, uh, what you call it, uh, Moira? Wasn't that Peter Pan's wife's name and hook? Pretty sure. I don't know where they came up with that. They must have been playing Fallout. So. After that, I figure we can hunt down old Liam Neeson. Dad, as we're calling him. And see what the heck happened, because I ended up killing the overseer. Didn't go over well with my friend. Kind of girlfriend. I'm not, not sure how that worked out with Amada. Childhood. Friend. Shot her dead. Happened. 
Pretty sure her dad was gonna kill me though. Like if I had not shot him, I'm pretty sure I would have been dead. I could have not walked in the room, I guess. Could have just walked by him. You know. Whoops. Let's see if this will share. I'm not even sure if I have it even set to share. Hang on. Let's see. Did I even do it? No. We don't want that. We want the, the game capture. Let's try that. There we go. I might need to turn up the volume of the game. If it's too low, somebody let me know. Black Feathers. Huey, let me know if it ain't loud enough. Oils. Will? Hey, what's up, Will? Let me know if the game's not loud enough. Thanks for popping in. I'm trying to find some water for this poor man outside, but nobody's got any. To every shop in this place. What's up there? Never been over there. There's some water right here. What happens if I activate it? I think the volume's good? Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Soda. The house. It's an empty house. I bet you it's a house we can buy. Jericho. Chris Jericho? The list of Jericho. Neither. I'm trying to get on out of here. Alright, so we have to traverse. The wasteland. There's the minefield we gotta go to. Um, coincidentally, there's somewhere else that's nowhere near as far that we gotta go to as well. Deliver Lucy's message. Where is this? Arafu, not that far. Probably a nightmare to get to. What do you think? We could do a we could do a loop de loop, right? We could do a loop de loop. We, by that I mean we go up here. Then we go over yonder, and we come on back, you know, nothing fancy. How's that sound? We happy with this? I'm going to go ahead and take that as a yes. Try. What kind of weapons do I have? I can't recall. I'm used to New Vegas where I have all the weapons and all the ammo, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I can do whatever I want, whereas in this one, it's like, eh. Kind of got to be careful. Ooh, I should ever fix my. Can I afford to ever fix anything? R -E -R Let's see how much it would cost to fix my laser pistol. I don't want it going bad out there. It's got a lot of hammer. My hammer, I mean ammo. Howdy, friend. Howdy, mister. That's Jericho? Oh, well, he's kind of a jerk. Oh, wait. That's not the... Okay. It's not who I thought he was. How are those hot little potatoes? Uh, or whatever. You know what I mean. I haven't been there yet. I haven't... Holy smokes, the game's like kind of loud, actually. I might need to turn this thing down. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't been to the minefield yet. It's not just because they say the place is haunted, is it? Because that's no reason to avoid the place. That's kind of why. Ghosts don't exist. But landmines do. Oh boy, do they. And that's what we need to study. Study. Right. Can I, uh, can you repair my equipment? If you've got the caps, I've got the skill. That's what I need to determine, actually, if I have the caps. Hold on, let's see. Oh! I have them, but dang. <laughs> is it worth it I think it's worth it to have a weapon oh jeez woof 
And how much ammo are the other weapons I have? Let's see. Let's see how much ammo I got. Have fun out there, okay? Okay. Thanks. Uh, we have some uh, 69. <laughs> nice. Uh, should we sell? We can't even get a lot of money for it anyway. It won't. I'm not. A, I can't repair it. I can't. I'm not good enough. We should sell this junk to her, even though it's worthless. Hey, hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. But it's perfectly safe to breathe. Ew. Really? Okay. All right. That's kind of weird. What do you need? Everything. Like a, like a baseball and a baseball glove. An empty whiskey bottle. Food sanitizer. Think I should hang on to that? Why, right? Why am I hanging on to this? The mini nukes, 158 caps. Ooh. Weapons. Okay. I don't really want the brass knucks. They're worthless. That's so sad. <laughs> My mic. Yeah, okay. Just double checking if it's working. Everything's worthless. This sucks. Okay, we have apparel. These have no perks. These have no perks at all. Seventeen bucks. I'm gonna hang on to it just because. Ooh, lockpick and repair. I'm hanging on to that. Hey, wait a second. I should put that on and see if I can repair that stinking gun. All right, cool. Accept, right? I was using that sanitizer, apparently. I might have made a huge mistake. I might have made a huge mistake. I have no idea. I just wanted money. Good hunting. That was a terrible error in judgment, maybe. I didn't think I was using it. I thought I was just carrying it, but apparently I was using it. And now I'm not using it. Should I re... <laughs> Should I reload the save? Should I save scum right now on that sale? Was that sale terrible? If you've got the caps, I've got the skill. Should should I should I should I save scum that? What do you guys think? Just move on. Have fun out there, okay? Just move on. I'm sure there's a ton of food sanitizers out there in the wasteland. Many pioneers would have survived if they had food sanitizers. That's true. Like fire? Fire is probably the most abundant food sanitizer. You think it's a unique item? No. <laughs> you 
serious? Let's check. I don't know, people seem to be mixed. People seem to be mixed on it. It was awarded after finding the medicine in the Super Duper Mart as part of the Wasteland Survival Guide quest, along with the sanitizer instructions. <sighs> Let's just keep it for God's sake. That was stupid of me. It's not like we've done a lot. Let's go back and get this stinking thing fixed and then we're, we're moving on. Someone here's got to sell stinking purified water, god dang it. That poor man's dying out front. Makes me uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Hard to come across some stinking purified water. It's everywhere in New Vegas. How are those hot little potatoes? Huh? Anyway, what's up? Uh, uh, uh that one. It's and let's go to uh, this one. Absolutely. Yeah, but still, it's a special item. In which case, the my hoarder instincts kick in, and I have to keep it. Eyeglasses do nothing. We're selling them. Tinted reading glasses do nothing. We're selling them. Tell snake outfit. We'll keep that just because of what it is. Perception increases perception. We'll keep something that has effects. Uh, let's sell the dirty water. Who wants this? I don't. All of them. All the iguana bits. I don't want those. I ain't eating them. Keep the Nuka Cola Quantum. I guess I'll keep the Nuka Cola. Oh, bloat fly meat. Who needs that? Let me. Alright. Crunchy mutt fruit. Mute fruit. See you later. Alright. And baseball? Baseball. Baseball glove. Empty whiskey bottle. Keeping the food sanitizer. Medical brace. Paperweight. Don't know why I even have those things. 26 caps. 26 caps. Not that much, really. Not that much at all. How much would Moira be selling it for, I wonder? The food sanitizer. I should have checked. Except. Good hunting. Not bad. All right. 
And you're You've got the caps. I've got the skill. I'm going to spend all my caps on this because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm going to do. If you've got the I guess that's what I'm going to do. 59 caps. Oh, 10 away. Remember. I'm not going to. All right. Let's go. Wait, what am I doing? No, no, no. We're not doing the Wasteland Survival Guide. We're delivering Lucy's message. Let's get out here. Now, I made a mistake last stream. Someone had told me there's a hollowed out rock behind Megaton. I was looking for a hollowed out log. So I didn't find it, but let's look for a rock real quick. I mean, there's a lot of rocks. Plenty of rocks, right? Tons of rocks. Hard to know which one would be the hollowed out rock. I'm sure I'm going to get attacked by something. Could be a troll. Keep that in mind for sure. Could definitely be a troll. Is that a bloat fly? Yeah, it is. I'm finding the hollowed out rock, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I, I don't know what they look like. He's not going to stay over there, is he? I'm missing. Okay. Whatever, then. Placing a hollowed out rock. Where would I put it? Probably on top of other rocks. It'll look inconspicuous. I think my game's gonna crash. I'm gonna remove all the mods soon. I'm just gonna take them all off. I killed. Oh no! It's coming for me! It's still alive! Not no more. I took so many shots. It's coming right for us! Okay, I can't find the hollowed out rock either. Couldn't find a hollowed out log? 
Couldn't find a hollowed out rock. <sighs> How sad for us. I'm sure it would have been lovely. Full of many goodies. Many delicious items. Surely there was ammunition in there. Something of this nature. Things of this nature. As Arnold used to say when he was pretending to be a politician. He was acting. Bad at acting. <laughs> You know, they're, attack, they're, they're doing things, you know, things of this nature. Come on, listen to me. There are no hollow down logs back here. Or rocks. I don't think it exists. There's a, a dirt devil. Dust devil. Please stand clear of the gate. I had you, partner. Well, couldn't find it. We tried. We tried our best. Made ramen. Delicious. Is the wasteland worse at night? Should we, like, wait till the morning? Eh, who cares? Let's just go. No, not that. What did I do? Jeez. An iBot, right. Let's talk about government, shall we? No, nope. I don't want it. Don't want to. Think Bethesda, think about that. What? Like walk in at night. I'm sure they thought of it. How far do we have to go? Hang on. Kind of far. If I follow this road. I mean, it's not terrible. Follow this row, we make a left, then a right, then a left, then a right. We can just follow the road. All the new Planet of the Apes movies. Oh, joy. How will I contain myself? Into a freaking death claw out here. Where the heck am I? I'm just wandering through the wilderness. I've lost the road. Now we're just walking. What's here? Are there items? Of course not. Uh oh. I don't recommend it, dog. Dog meat. Sun goes down. Over the wasteland. Pretty empty out here. Uh oh. Two things. What it is, I wonder. Bloat flies. Oh! Alright. Alright. 
Should we check it? I guess we should check it. Pretty clean around here. There's an iBot. That's kind of weird. Can't have one America. There's like um, there's like a South America, and a Central America. There's like a North America. There's like a. There's like an American Samoa. There's a. There's like a lot of Americas. Like there's no. No one. So the Enclave radio guy is just wrong. Should we go into the little rundown town? Am I missing anything in there, you think? Yeah, you're an American, Black Feather. Just a South American. That's why I never liked the, 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 the term American. They want to say... You know, someone from the United States, it's a U.S. citizen. That's all. It's not that hard. It's a U.S. citizen. An American. There's tons of Americans. Canadians are Americans, unfortunately. <laughs> My parents are from different countries. That's cool. The thing about being an American is you can become one. Uh-oh. Two? Two things? What am I looking at here? Those are raiders. Oh no. Am I ready for this? Well, we're about to find out. Because here they come. He's not coming for me. I don't know where they're running. They didn't see me. Cool. I'm gonna let them. Oh, never mind. She's coming right for us. They didn't make it. Use most of my ammo for that. Use a Chinese pistol. What's up, DB? From Zion to the Capital Wasteland. Yes, indeedy. I am doing all right. Surviving, as they say. Just barely. down there. I don't know what that is. Uh, where the heck am I headed?
Arafu? Ain't nothing there. is strong as heck. What? What? Why does it take 17 shots? That's insane. Nothing takes that many shots. Nothing. What the hell is wrong with this gun? Why is it pointless? Damage is a two. The weapons are useless. Totally useless. I was messed up. just gonna run I'm stuck in something I think the mire lurks faster than me I don't have enough ammo to kill that thing I just don't have enough ammo for this still coming okay not fast enough oh I'm stuck Hey, he doesn't know where I went. Eh, I lost him. Tactical retreat, exactly. Tactical retreat. Still got the music. No, never mind. Aren't they up here? Isn't this where Arafu is? Arafu? Hey, guys. You're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. Who's they? Howdy, friend. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? I... They know how to make assault rifles. Ooh. We have this letter for the West family. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. What's that? What kind of trouble? Well, at first, they do their typical gang bullshit. Oh. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. Yeah, yeah I saw that. What's got you so spooked? Ah, <sighs> Look. You can call me crazy if you want, but there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. I'd be glad to help. What do you need? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. Can you tell me more about what's going, been going on around here? There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Mm. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. 
the family? Where do you think I can find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. Interesting. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Didn't I just say this to him? Let's say it again. I have a message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. I have to be going. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. I know, you almost blew me up. Okay, so we gotta find three folk and the Wests. Cool. Cool. Maybe we wait till daytime? No, I, I want to discover it. All right, daytime. Is there a way up from back here? No, there's no way up. Okay. Good to know. Whoa. There's a hole. There's outhouses. Gross. Another iBot down there. Okay. Place is uh, not bad. Not a bad place. Very defensible. Locked. There's nobody here. Man. Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Huh? What are you talking about? Evan King sent me. Oh, Evan. He's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. She's a serial killer. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. Whoa! Just gonna drop that on me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Yeah, right. And the second I drop my guard, you pounce. No thanks. Look, speak your piece, then leave. Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Hmm. You tell me more about what's been going on around here? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. I just did. What's your take on Evan King? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. What do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Hmm. Good. Now get out. Blink twice if you're safe. Those blinks were pretty far apart, mister. But there was two of them.
Yes. Who is it? Evan King sent me. Can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. What's up, Karen? Evan told me to check on you. Is everything okay? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? We're scared shitless. Whoa. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. I understand your frustration, uh, Karen. Uh, what do you think about the family? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. Yikes. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Especially after this last attack. We'd step outside. Yeah, give him the old, uh, shepherd. Evil eye. What's your take on Evan King? He's a spineless wimp. Ooh. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. And I'm sick of King. Ooh, we got a mutiny on our hands. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else. Relax, Karen. I'll come back for, you know, we can, we can talk. Let's see, we got uh, two left. One's his and one's theirs. Evan King, we can't go in there. This was, oh no! The bodies of the Wests have bite marks on the neck area that go to the bone. What is in here? Nothing else on the corpse to indicate what happened. Oh no. What the heck happened? There's nothing in here. Someone's eating people. Well, what did they tell you? Everyone okay? Did you know the Wests are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. I'm sick of it. Wait a minute. When you searched the Wests' place, did you find their son Ian's body? No, I found the parents' bodies. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weird old leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Down Look, by the river. I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. <laughs> I have a message for the West family from their daughter. <laughs> the West had bite marks on their necks. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Don't worry, Evan. I'll figure out what happened to the Wests. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Well, you know. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. Better believe it. Just locate them, huh? Oh, 
Good to see you. What's up? Did you know the Wests are dead? Uh, I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? I haven't seen any of the West since we were told to head indoors. Did you know the Wests are dead? What? Oh my god! King has to do something about this now. Tell him to get off his ass and hunt those bastards down! Okay. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else. I just, I just came back. Man, people are tough to please around here. I'm very upset. Hey there. Patty. Your abusive husband isn't doing anything, huh? Hey there, sweetie. Whoa. Let's slow down. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? If I recall, he and the boys are probably at the lake fishing. Those rapscallions. There's no telling what monkey shines they'll get into next. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? Oh my, I don't boils? know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies. And all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Yeah, quite lovely. Um, gotta go. Oh, certainly. Close the front gate when you leave and mind my begonia garden. I just planted them. Okay, never mind. Sorry, Mister. Yes? What are you doing in here? Calm down. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Nope. Everyone stays inside. Except Evan King, of course. Are we sure the family actually exists? Like, what if it's just King's thing that he made up? What if King's the one terrorizing them? Son of a bitch. I knew the family were going to cross the line. It was only a matter of time. Nobody Maybe can time get up I here. I cut my losses and ran. But it just isn't fair. I made my home here. Why should I have to leave? I mean, does it really matter? Good. Now get out. It's not like there's a good school in the area. I'm just saying. Please you... tell me you found something. Are you the family? How's the search going? Any sign of Ian? Next time I... Wait, let me ask How's him. the search going? I've already asked him this, but let's see what he says. I think they live somewhere... East or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Okay. Next time I. East or northeast, huh? What do we think? I'm betting Hamilton's hideaway. I don't really have the ammo for this. I'd be go going and killing a whole family of people. Or the money. Or anything. Tactically avoid the load fly. That's what I was trying to tactically avoid. Worked. It worked. Look at this guy. What do we think? Got to you? get away. They're burning everything. Calm down. Let me try to help you. They're all, they're all dead. Burned gray ditch right to the ground. Those things, they came out of nowhere. You got to run. Run.
don't know what he's talking about. All I know is I'm going the wrong way. Now we're kind of going the right way. On the right-ish way. That's what we want to be, kind of right-ish. Think we can avoid any major creatures because we frankly just don't have the ammo for it. Running kind of low. Don't really want to get into a lot of fight unnecessary fights. Like with stupid mole rats. Still not going the right way. That's a Meyer lurk. Wow, they changed the Meyer lurks. Okay. Fallout 4's Meyer lurks. Look way different than Fallout 3's Meyer lurks. Okay. Low fly. There's the theater over there. I guess we'll just go in a line and see what we got. The chances this place are empty is pretty slim, right? Well, that's copyright protected. I hear the cockroaches. Hopefully there's stuff here. We need stuff. Oh, there's a safe. Nice. Not very much. Ooh, pre-war money. I'll take that. Terminal. Thanks. I never use them. I, I guess I will in this. Because I have like no ammo. What do we think it is?
Locking. One of seven. This is a tough one. You might throw away the ramen. What'd you put on it? It's the get out of jail free card. Someone tell me to eat it. What is it? I'll tell you to eat it. That was a bad choice anyway. I'm stupid to pick that. Stupid to have picked that. How ironic would it be if it was dollars? Thanks, it removed one I already picked. Appreciate that. You don't want to deal with spicy food. Eat the food. Spicy food is the best food.
I don't know. Holy smokes. What? None of these, none of these work. Am I crazy? Carries has two. Fortify has only one. Let's work through this. Hostile. Okay. It has only one from carries. So that's out. Copying. Has one. Two from carries. Okay. Let's go to fortify. Has one. Two from fortify. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Doorway. Has nothing from carries. Okay. Morning. Has one. Two. From carries. And one. Two from fortify. Doesn't work. Routing. One. Only one from carries, so that doesn't work. Fortify, we know it doesn't work. Locking. One from carries. Rodents. Only one from carries. Quality. One from carries. Lurking. Two from carries. And two from fortify. Details. Two from carries. And only one from Fortify. Is this it? Is this it right here? This was it. I guess I didn't check it very well. I was, I was, I was admitting defeat, I guess. We're unlocking something. Was that for the safe? No, oh, too late. Anyway. Ah. Yeah, all of those. Appreciate you. Nuka Cola truck worth five dollars, huh? Okay. What? Value fifty dollars? Give me that. I mean, we'll see if we can get anyone to pay that much, but I could use fifty dollars. At this point, I need all the money. Whiskey. It's working whiskey. Empty whiskey bottle. Milk bottles. 
Anything here, though? Anything special? It's an iron. Who doesn't want some Blamco mac and cheese, right? Or a spatula. Spatula come in handy. Vault Tech will be there. Mainly because we caused it, I'm assuming. All right, let's check out the one that inevitably will have evildoers. Oh, can we not get in here? Such a big building to be one you can't get into. Giggity. I, know, I guess it's just there for, for looks. Let's go uh, see if there's a down here. Keep out. What's up, Zolo? When you say over there, is that a troll? If I were a group called The Family, nice. System error. Oh, crap. Wasn't dead. I'm freaking stuck. I'm watching you. I'm freaking stuck again. All right, we're gonna have to do this again. Freaking stuck. Go say hi to this guy. You're not... Not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Steal your secrets? Not at all. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. No. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. Oh, really? Ultra Jet? That's some sort of super cam? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect oh. for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. Sure. Yeah, sure. What do you need? It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. You know, there's some in the building. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, ultra jet. Right up the stairs. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know what? Make it 30 caps and you got yourself a deal. Nope. It's 15 each. You want to do it or what? God dang it. You drive a hard bargain, Murphy, but I'm in. Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. I'm going to talk to your buddy first. I mean, you get a friend here. Talk to this person. Why don't you look where you're going? Sorry. You looking for a problem? I guess I was looking for a conversation, but you ain't got one. So I'm going to just walk back out. All right, 
then. So this is not the family. Lord knows what happened to that guy. There's mole rats in there. Bro is a chemist, yeah. He's got sugar bombs right in here. He could have gotten some free sugar bombs. He didn't have to pay me 15 caps. Right in here. Hang on. I seen them. Hang on. Uh, Blamco. Pretty sure I saw him. Nope, a Braxo. Didn't I see some sugar caps? I was pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Box of detergent. I thought I saw one. Well, don't I look foolish? I'm going to take that harmonica. Mouth organ, as they call it. Never mind, I lied. Oh, no, I didn't. You're there. See? Right up in here. I told you. Told you I'd seen them. Didn't I take this toy? What the heck? These are worth 10 bucks each? Give me those. Bet you I can't sell them for that much. Alright. Cram. Giggity. Alright. What's up there? Oh, can I have this? A nuke, light up Nuka Cola thing? It's legit. All right, we can make 30, uh, 30 caps. Easy. Here we go. Hey, guy. All my equipment. So, what did you bring me? Let's deal with Barrett. He's my assistant and my backup. In case things get rough, I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. I wasn't thinking of messing. Just hurting. Have you ever heard of the family? Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. Thanks for narrowing that If you're feeling down. foolish, I think there's an underground way through their place, deeper into the metro station here. Here's all the sugar bombs I got. Nice work. The Ultra Jet's coming along nicely. I was about to be furious. I was like, where the heck's my money? Yeah. You be stealing? Nah, I ain't got nothing to say, man. Relax. Let's go to the family. Seems like a good mistake to make. Where's the mole rats? There's freaking three of them in here? Freaking mole rats. Why don't I use a baseball bat? What am I doing? A freaking baseball bat. Oh, good. Let's get radiated. Gross if I found some sugar bombs in here. that was a thing. Turns out it's not. Cool. I went in this room for no reason. What's he talking about? 
somehow deeper in. Can I go this way? Son of a bitch. The nice guy. Hey, be more careful. Big. What is it? What is it? Oh no, it's a mire lurk. I don't have the weapons for this. Do I? I don't. I genuinely don't. Let's try a hunting rifle. Oh my god, it does no damage. Right in his butt. Where's it going? It's like, forget this guy. Oh, uh-oh. I'm vulnerable. Uh, jump. Jump! I can't get up here now? All of a sudden? Just did it just fine. Now we can't. Now we can't. Now we're dead. Just... Yeah, jump when I say jump. Why doesn't it jump? There we go. Where'd he go? Yeah, I got something. For this. <laughs> Where'd he go? There it is. Can we squeeze it through there, you think? Now let's just throw it right here. That was a terrible throw. That was a terrible throw. Didn't do it. Marlock doesn't even care. There he is. We're right there. That hit me? I did pick it up. Thought it was a Kobe. I'm not gonna lie. I get him. I get him. There we go. Oh, got him. He's been crippled. Yeah, shotgun shells. Do I have a shotgun? Try the shotgun. Oh, let's try the shotgun. There's two of them. Oh man, I'm gonna get slaughtered down here. Should keep using the frags at this point. I used five of them already. Wow, not very good. Well, that was a total miss. Two of them. Can't even kill one. Let's see. Nope. Can't even kill one. Give me a hard time. There we go. Yep. There we go. Do 
it, it does nothing. I can't get back. Nice. They kill you quick. I'm stuck down here. Oh, no, I'm not. I mean, do you think we could get away with kneecapping him? I think uh, I think it's a waste of all my ammo. And we'll just go topside. Step on their feet. Yeah. 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 You know what I need to do is get a giant seagull. That'll take him out. I was using grenades, man. They, I used uh, six of them. Didn't even, didn't even kill one. Grenades were more... Ah! That did nothing. This sawed-off shotgun is useless. Nothing. It's a freaking shotgun. Oh! It's a freaking shotgun. It's a shotgun. I don't care if it's freaking. Oh, never mind. Forget it. Forget it. Oh, wants me to go down there? Heck no. We ain't doing it. To locate the family and hopefully they're good guys. Okay, this is a baseball bat situation. Watch me die. Come here. You can't aim. I guess we can sell that for something. All right. Hamilton Hideaway. We're almost there. A freaking Yaogwai over there? No, they're just big mole rats. Okay, cool. Looks like a Yaogwai. It's actually just a mole rat. It's to my right. I mean, it does look like a place that would house a group of people called the family, right? Family's here. We've always been here. We always will be here. Are you kidding? Fifty? Who's going to have fifty? Mm. Shotgun shells from a shotgun we can't oh we can't it's useless. Okay, spikes. Very normal. What? Hammer. 
don't know what just fell. There's some crayon. Very annoyed I can't open this. I'm gonna have a freaking lockpick of 50. Who has a lockpick of 50? Beer? So we go up the stairs. Takes us to Moonbeam Cinema. Where we will likely meet our demise. Here we go. So the family are not here. That's what we're... They're underground at the other place. And we have to deal with the Meyer Alerts. Fantastic. We've got nothing that can kill my lurks. I got no ammo. Carton of cigarettes were fifty bucks, though. to time cool well we got some ammo that's good I guess not a total waste of time Vicious dog? Hey, dog. Where's the scavenger? Oh. Hey, scavenger. Yes. Hey there. You have anything for sale? Everything has a price. Take a look and make me an offer. Some days you miss magazines. Did I miss a magazine?
A pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. Later. Guess we have to go underground. They are still not happy with me. Was terrible. I didn't get there at all. They're not even suspicious. I hit nothing. Got him that time, and it did nothing. Did nothing to him. That did nothing. Okay, let's try kneecap. Try using the. Let's take out the old right leg. It's not doing nothing. Nobody's getting crippled. Like full points. Come around the corner, mister. There we go. I don't think I can cripple him. They are so strong. I mean, I got him in one spot. That time he's crippled. Oh, he's really hurt now. That didn't even do anything. How is that possible? I'm going to bounce it off of that wall. No, I'm not. He ran from the explosive. Did you see that? That's crazy. Ten mils, like, fully charged, right? Can't even get up here. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? One. 
use all our ammo doing it. I'll tell you what. That Meyer lurk meat. Come around the corner, mister. Yeah, you tough. How tough? A shotgun to the face tough? A frag grenade tough? Oh, come on. That was perfect. That's so dirty. Come back around the corner, mister. Come say hi. I know you want to. He's like, he keeps throwing grenades at me. Shots are counting. That one hit him. Almost out of ammo for this thing. Hey, what's up, John? John Constantine, my goodness, the man himself. Thank you for popping in. Really appreciate you. That didn't hit him. Didn't hit him. Didn't hit him. That hit him. Alright, we're going in. Thank you very much, honestly, for the sub. Really appreciate you. And welcome. To the unknown. Every sub does indeed matter. It is impossible to be noticed on the YouTube's machines. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoy my stumbling, bumbling, and fumbling through this game. Please, no more Meyer Lurk. I can't. I can't defeat them again. I have but 35 shots. Oh, a booty trap. That's a good booty trap right there. I wasn't even looking. Is it a tripwire? Yeah. Another tripwire. How many people do we think are in the family? Got a Meyer lurk. They got another one. There's a landmine. There's a bear trap. Another landmine. Are you kidding me? I can disarm a landmine, but not a bear trap. hammer. Well, let's go around the bear trap. Almost walked right into that one. We're gonna die here. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna die here. Was that a booty trap? Yeah, it was. I walked, uh, 
I walked right into it. I don't have a high enough repair skill to do anything about it. How many, how many, how many trip wires am I going to hit before I realize I need to be looking for trip wires? Trip wires, bear traps, all kinds of things. I'm just going to walk right into them. Landmines. Oh, there's one right there. There's a guy. I assume he's a member of the family. He's, uh, what do you think? Should we try talking to him? His name he's named. Let's go say hello. Howdy, friend. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Hang on a second. I have a letter from Ian for Ian West from his sister. Oh, the new kid? Yeah, Vance said we should be expecting someone soon. You can head on in, but I would speak to Vance first if I was you. You can find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. What is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. Well, tell me about the family. We are a badass gang and we don't take shit from nobody. Oh. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. Well, I'll be sure to kill you first. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. I got my eye on you. Still just walking in. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its bunch of ammo. Uh, where's the guy? They murder me. You new here too? I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. What is this place? Right now I call this place home. The only home that's ever let me stay with my problems. Problems? What the heck is he talking about? Tell me about the family. Well, anyone that Vance takes in because of their special problems can be part of the family. Guess I'll see you around. I don't know what he means by special problems. I've never. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. That's My name's it. Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. What's up, Justin? I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Ian? What do you want from him? He needs to talk to someone from the outside to get some perspective. It's outsiders' perspectives that drove him here in the first place. Sorry. I can't really help you. He's needed at home. His family's dead. Yes, I know. He told me. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. 
Anything else you can tell me about Ian West? No, just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. He's in meditation, is he? Um, I don't think I want to say that. There we go. I understand. Goodbye. I'm President John Henry Heath. Of course, that would be stealing. Not a thief. Today. This guy's got a sword. Welcome to Maresti, human. Hi, Vance. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers, travelers. and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? This place is very different from any of the other settlements I've seen. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. Uh -huh. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. I see. Go on. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Your way, so you're reforming these people? Ah, your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. If I accept that you're no longer cannibals, what do I call you? Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? I have no idea. Then that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Yikes. Please help me understand your laws, uh, Holly. Feast not on the flesh, consume only the blood. This is our strength. Ew? 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 I'm looking for, even, uh, for Ian West. Have you seen him? I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation, and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. The boy has chosen a path. Hey, I'm just here to help. All I want to do is be someone he can talk to. Uh, let's try that. Well, I guess so. You seem like a pretty nice guy. I'm a Vance nice guy. Have my butt in a sling if he finds out. But let me give you the password to his room. He's right there, isn't he? Anything else you can tell me about Eon West? Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. What is this place? This is Moresti, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. Tell me about the family. My husband started this group not long ago. 
He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. They come from all over the wasteland now to find us and become part of the family. I have to be going now. It was good talking to you. Thank you for the password. Alright, I think it's this way, yeah? It's... If I kill everyone, all this stuff is free. Gonna be stealing things. Oh, this is someone's bedroom. Sword cabinet. This is homeboy's bedroom. <whistles> Thought I got the password. Okay. Empty, okay. That's his pack of cigarettes in the trash. Can't be stealing it. Uh oh. You wish to speak with me? Uh yeah, that's what I was doing in there. Purpose, huh? I definitely would not. Wake up! Huh? How'd you get in here? I have the password. Uh, what do you want? Huh. I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? You seem awfully troubled, Ian. What did you do? Do. I killed them. My own parents. It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. You must think I'm some sort of monster. I don't know, maybe it is the answer. Look, Ian, I know loss too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Read this letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it. I bet it'll change your mind. She... she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Mm -hmm. 
Hey Vance, I took your, uh, your follower. He's gone. I hear that you decided to speak to Ian regardless of my warnings. Be that as it may, I am still interested in what you conversed about. Did he come to a decision? He sure did. Before I talk about Ian, there's still the matter of Arfu to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. There must be an alternative source of blood you can survive on. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem with your idea is that these blood packs are scarce. What do you propose? Arfu will sell you blood packs and you leave the town alone. Although I appreciate what you are trying to do, please realize that we have no money or goods to speak of. What little money Carl makes with his shop goes to buying weapons and ammunition to protect ourselves. I am very sorry. But perhaps you can make a better offer? Arafu donates blood packs and you leave the town alone. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Ian has decided to leave the family. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. All right, I thought I was going to have to kill these guys. It's kind of nice that I don't. Um... Because I'm pretty sure they'd kill me. Oh, hey there. Yes, that's luck. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. And yes, I have the password. The five laws of the family. First law. Feast not on the flesh. Consume only the blood. This is our strength. We do not eat the flesh of those we kill for food. Let me drink of their blood and leave the body intact. The consumption of flesh is filthy and unclean. This action is what causes the humans to treat us like animals. We are not animals, we are the family. Connor McGregor is not an actor. I, I get so sick of this where we, we just keep putting anyone but actors in movies would you let's make a movie let's put a singer and a mma fighter in it oh yeah that should be great hey, let's uh let's make a movie we'll put a a, a, a rap artist in it uh, yeah that's a great idea okay fantastic let's uh let's buy we want to make a movie oh good what kind of movie oh i don't know some kind of movie let's get a you know a football player what about actors the whole bunch of them uh, it's not gonna be good will should dump that whole thought the second law bear not the child welcome only the exile this is our fate because we carry the stain of our past in our bodies we can never let it pass to our offspring who would in turn carry out those foul actions beginning the cycle anew the family must seek the wasteland 
for others of its kind in order to maintain itself. That is our fate. Interesting. The third law feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. We only kill the humans we, when we are hungry or when we must defend ourselves. We never hunt for sport or pleasure. We do not prey on children, for they are not yet tainted by society's view of us. The family will not tolerate murder. Fourth law, seek not the sun's light embrace, only the shadows. This is our refuge. Because we are creatures of the night, we must not set foot in daylight. We move silently across the ground, only under the watchful eye of the moon above. At the rising of the sun, we must seek the embrace of the shadows and never again gaze at its brilliance. The family seeks the dark as its refuse. Refuge. Kill not our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Hey, Christian. Thanks for popping in. Above all, no member of the family will ever take the life of another member without the consent of the current leader. Anyone disobeying this action, the most heinous of all our crimes, will be exiled from this place forever. We must not let our inner demons cause us to fight amongst ourselves. We number only in the few, and we cannot risk extinction. There you go. Very important laws. Regarding Arafu, I do not want an incident like this happening ever again. I was very clear that we are not to represent ourselves in a hostile way. The killing of the town's Brahmin was an act that was both unnecessary and potentially damaging to my work. I'm dealing with a very delicate situation in this town, and I will not have it undermined by actions of revenge on humankind. Our time will come, I promise you. What does that mean? Came from this way, right? I guess I could fast travel. We did find the family. Probably not in here. I probably have to leave to fast travel, right? We're directly beneath Arafu right now? No, we're not. Okay. Of course not. Of course. not Howdy, fellas.
There he is, the hero of the day. That's a Metallica song. It's done. Evan, the family will never bother Arfu again if you keep giving them blood packs. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Yeah, you almost Thanks blew me again, up. Thanks kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. I've gained karma. I have a proposal for you from Vance, the family's leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. I will definitely sell that. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Appreciate you. Made me so mad that it wouldn't let me in that thing. That's it. Kind of just want stinking swift learner again. All right, now I guess let's head back to the old. Uh, Supposed to go to the minefield. All right, let's go. I don't really have a lot of ammo left. Well, hopefully, we'll be okay. Here we go. We go try to find our father. What's happening over there? Oh, that's the caravan? Okay. Hey, the Brahmin are back. We need to go like that way, right? Yeah. So there's no... I hope there's a way across. This could be difficult. I am going to go check out that container. And tactically retreat from any mire lurk we run across. What is that? 
No. That can't make them happy. Yes, I can sell the dirty water. Ah! Tactical retreat. Like a stink. Yeah, it gave up. They don't really like the chase, the Meyer Lurks. There's another one. More rat. I'm going up. Kind of going the right way. It's still on me like a stink. Oh, this is my, it's this mole rat. Want some? Get some. Oh, I'm in the water? Yeah. All right. I should probably like, use a stem pack. Feels good, man. It's a mole rat. It's coming. All right. Where are we heading? Nope. Wrong one. That's what we're doing. Headed to a minefield. Should be easy enough. Oh no. You were supposed to be crippled. Almost out of ammo. No, not a dog. Well, he's done for. And there's something else. Still getting attacked less than we would in Dragon's Dogma, too, for sure. Oh no! A freaking super mutant! All those shots missed. And I'm out of ammo. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're dead. Great. Oh, killed one. Let's see if he's got anything. Got a nail board. It does more damage than anything I'm carrying. That's amazing. All right, let's try to get this guy in closer.
I do have the hunting rifle. Not exactly easy shots. It'd be nicer if he'd get closer. Who the hell is shooting me there? Oh my god! What is this, the Brotherhood? The Enclave? I'm dead. Tactical retreat. Two dudes in power armor. What the heck is that? What? What is this place? I haven't done anything. I was literally just walking around. Found a mine. <sighs> I see. I am stuck. No. I don't have time for this. Ow! Don't kill me. Okay. I won't. I'm tired of things trying to kill me. Okay? I'm just trying to walk away. You attacked me. Remember? I should have batted him in the face. I was panicking. No ammo. Let's use this nail board. You want to kill me? I got a board with nails in it. They're probably rusty. You know what that means? Freaking tetanus. That's right. You don't want tetanus, mister. There's a guy walking on the street. By, by the way, I've been treated. I don't think I want to talk to anyone. There's a few people. No. There's too many of them. All right, what do you got, mister? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm dead. Nothing from this distance, right on. Okay, hang on. We're fine. We're fine. Do 
12 rounds left. One down. Where's the other idiot? Yeah, that I beat to death with the wood with the board with nails in it. Oh, there he is. You're a sadist. That's what Vince McMahon used to always say. All right, we killed those guys. I'll teach them to mess with me. What the hell is that? You guys freaking kidding me? Got a zigzag, got a zigzag. The blowflies can't handle the bloatflies can't handle the UNAS. They don't like the UNAS. Can't handle it. There's three of them on me. This is hilarious. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Hey, Alexis, thanks for popping in. And Jatoya, thank you for popping in as well. Always thought that Fallout 3's Wasteland is the most Fallout of the newer games. You know what? This is... So far, I mean, it's up there for me with, 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 with New Vegas. This is actually a Wasteland. I think it's really good so far. It's really good. Before they. It's in the before four time. Before they messed it up. <laughs> I appreciate your kind words, Alexis. You're too nice. Too nice. We're going to get Fallout 2 going, I think, tomorrow. If I don't get fired. Well, even if I do get fired. Okay, so this is the minefield. We're at the minefield. We made it. Unbelievably. Somehow, we made it. I'm gonna look for some mines. There's one. So I got too close. I got way too close. I thought I was not too close, but I was too close. Whoops. It was a huge mistake. No plants means no food chain. No food chain means no wildlife. There's really terrible world design and building. New Vegas is just a desert. Most places in New Vegas look pretty much like they do in real life. That is not true. <laughs> the Mojave is beautiful. What is that? Someone's setting off. Bro. What is happening? I'm not even getting that close. What is happening? Am I getting shot at? I 
I need to get at least one. I love Sour Patch Kids. They're delicious. Here we go. I'm gonna die. Anything else I can eat? Not really, no. No, not really, no. Is he an enemy? His name's Arkansas. Usually when they're named. He's an enemy. Enemy. Oh my god. Shooting at me? He sure as crap is. That's not very nice, Arkansas. Do you want to have a snipe battle? I am always down. I don't have very many rounds. I got. 15 rounds to kill you with. But I bet you'll look prettier when I'm done. Let's see what's in here. Locked. Mother of God. Far. I can get closer. Think I can't, old man? Think I can't get closer? Think I'm scared of you? Whoa! Ooh, good shot, old man. Okay. Alright. Need the armor key. Are you playing normal or advanced mode? I'm playing normal. I think it's like hard. Hang on. Let's see. I think it's just normal. Yeah. We should probably raise up the difficulty. Where is this guy? Coming down here? You don't want to come down here. Oh, Jesus. Bring it. Okay. All right, mister. Let's just relax. And I'm going to get shot. Well, now Arkansas has no head. Oh, he's right by a landmine. There's another guy.
someone else here? person. It's crazy how many landmines there are around here. Jeez. Yes. Doing more is more his quest. Yes. Can I just see a landmine? There it is. Nice. All right, let's look for our friend. Where is this man? Confusing. Getting the old caution. I cannot see this man. I don't see him. Around here somewhere.
I'll just keep walking into those. Let's keep doing that. Freaking everywhere. Bro, I hit pick it up and it didn't do nothing. It's like you missed. No, I did not. I'm using 30 freaking. Probably went inside one of the houses. Well, that's pretty safe. So it just worked. It was just working. Now it's just decided it doesn't work. What is this? It's nothing. We run in here. No one will put landmines in here, right? Right? Nice. Yes, I have noticed that, and yes, I agree. It is super annoying. <laughs> Pugilism Illustrated.
Well, we just started the game, so. Pretty low. I need to crouch. Okay. Maybe there's no one in here. A raider? happened here. I found it in uh, one of the uh, closets. I have a bunch of uh, ammo for it.
assault rifle. What? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Really? I can't really carry him at this point. I think we're going to have to live without it. Another guy running around here somewhere, but whatever. Let's head back to Megaton. <laughs> well, a scoped revolver doesn't really make any sense. to see you yeah you need something no hey Lucy hello there nice to see you I delivered that letter to Ian oh thank you for remembering with everything that's going on I almost forgot about it you have no idea how much this means to me thanks so much See ya. Oh, okay. Well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. Lucy's trying to get close to Johnny Ipkiss. What, what am I hearing? The Brahmin, okay. Lucy's trying to get close to Johnny Ipkiss. What?
Yeah, but it doesn't make any... Doesn't make any sense for a, re a revolver. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. I got blowed up. I got through the minefield alive and I even brought you a present. I'm not buying it. I mean, I know it's scary, but you can't half-ass something like this, you know? Now go on out there and walk through that minefield like a real researcher. I actually did. I went there. What the hell is this thing talking about? I've been there. Good luck with that research. Was it because I messed up and just made a joke? Hang on. I was just making a joke. Hey, Harden. I was just making a joke, Moira. Oh, hey! I freaking went there. Good luck with that research. Oh, yeah, you're right. I had to go to the playground. God yeah, damn it. Thought I just had to get her some mines. I did read the quest, but we had to go to the freaking playground. I was right next to the playground. I mean, come on, that's got to count for something. I think that's where that other guy is? That was close. Oh, it did get me. God dang it. I don't have any more stim packs. Yeah, I do. What the heck? So there's nothing on the road. We know that. Is this the playground? This is the playground. So what I'm gonna do? Just travel to the playground. That's it. We went all around this place, everywhere, except over there and right here. That's all we had to do. I didn't see any landmines. I don't see another dude, though. Yeah, it should clear when you kill that guy, quite honestly. But I guess it makes sense. They want to make sure you had to walk through the minefield. I get it. I get it. I should have. I should have. I should have. At least we can fast travel. It doesn't matter, right? You looking for the mirror? Neither. Howdy, Mister. Sorry, you can't talk now. What happens if I activate this pipe joint? Does it break? Who's Nathan? Hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals, but it's perfectly. I know. 
How are those hot little potatoes? Now am I now it looks like I'm allowed to say this. My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? It's a joy. Oh, disarming, it's uh, real easy. Just jump up and down on it. You go first. You think I'm an idiot? I may be a little impulsive, but not an idiot. I'll just take a look at this on my own then. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. I have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own too. That completes the first chapter's tasks, correct? Yup, you've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Oh my god. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still've got two more chapters to go. Four. He's like 13 on the trip. I'm ready to start researching the next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? I hate Mire Lurks. <sighs> Tell me more about repelling the mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. I'll test out the repellent for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on 10 or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Let's see where this leads. I've been thinking about the guide. Can I ask you something? Absolutely. I'll bet you haven't been thinking about the guide as much as I have. Why do you really want to write this guide? Well, it'll help humanity rebuild, right? I mean, who doesn't want to help humanity? Besides, it's bound to work out better than some of my other projects. I mean, with you helping and all, how could it go wrong? There you go. Well, it's a big undertaking. We've got to make sure we're doing it right. Oh, believe me. I know. I've been a bit careless with other projects, but this... This is important. This means something. Important. I think you're right. Now let's get back to work on this book. You got it, super research assistant. Hey, I should get you a costume or something. Oh, I can't wait to hear... Oops. What? Take care. It's a big wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? Let's sell her some stuff. 
Oh, I can't wait to hear. Wow, it repels them that much? I can't. I completed this in the high intelligence option. She actually said she thinks the guide is way too smart for people to understand. <laughs> That's funny. Good hunting. Have fun out there, okay? Tunnel snakes rule. <laughs> Tunnel snakes. How, how much giggling did they do when they put that name together? Freaking Bethesda. Bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, bunch of five-year-olds. We'll call them the Tunnel Snakes. <laughs> Get it? forth and drink the waters of the glow for this ancient weapon of war drink the waters of the glow you're just random set no name serve. settler okay. I don't know there was such a thing whoops Knocked that thing right over. What's up, Lucy? Hello there. Nice to see you. Oh, okay. She wants me to cut something out. What is it, hun? No luck finding dear old dad. Can't say it surprises me. Which lands What's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Now, that's pretty funny, Zola. Or, Jatoya. That's pretty funny. That's something that Zola would say, I just assumed. <laughs> I await our next meeting with bated breath. With bated breath? What's up, Lucy?
Anyhow. We've been going, unbelievably, for three and a half hours already, just about. I'm just a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Exactly. I know who I am. Actually, my favorite line in that, one of my favorite lines, two, these are my two favorite lines from that movie, and they're both by the same character. One is, hey, I'm waiting for the signal. I'm trying to put some tiger bomb on this jungle's nuts. <laughs> and of course, the other one, one of the best lines in the whole film, short of Robert Downey Jr. doing speaking Chinese while doing the impression that he's doing through that whole movie. Besides that, because I can't really do an impression of that, the, the same character saying... I don't know what it's called. I just remember the sound it makes when it lies. <laughs> Seriously, the best line. <laughs> but that is where we're gonna have to call the stream today. It is getting rather late. I got work in the morning and it ain't going to be a fun day. I could get fired tomorrow. If that happens, I'll be streaming early. And actually, I wouldn't be too sad if I got fired. I would not be sad at all. At least for a couple of weeks. GG's. Thank you all very much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Christian, always good to see you, buddy. Happy birthday again. I know that was just a, that was, that was uh, the other day, but thank you for popping in and hope you enjoyed your toy thank you for popping in as well will thank you for hanging out really appreciate you as always huey thank you for popping in for even if it was just for a second alexis thank you for hanging out as always and thank you for your kind words excuse me hiccups and such John Constantine, the man himself. Thank you very much for the sub. I really appreciate it. And welcome to the unknown. And of course, someone of your caliber is always appreciated. Thank you again for saving the world uh, a bunch of times. Uh, back a few years ago, uh, the soundtrack was done by A Perfect Circle. At least the main song. I like that song. It's uh, that one, a perfect circle song. <laughs> it's a good film. It's a good film. Wasn't as big a fan of the TV show, although I, I'm not a hater. I just never watched it. But uh, I heard it was good. I heard the TV show was good, actually. DB, thank you for popping in, hanging out. Appreciate you. Zolo, I said your name on accident a minute ago. Thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Black Feathers, thank you for the kind words. I believe you said kind words at the beginning. You did. Thank you. I appreciate you. As always, hope you enjoyed. Oils, thank you for popping in, brother. Appreciate you. Happy birthday. It's his birthday today as well. Oils. Happy birthday to you. Everybody's, everybody's an April birthday. Look at that. But as I was saying, if you're all enjoying the playthrough, do me the solemn. Smash that like button, share the stream, comment down below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all very much again. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, come on, stay with me. Stay with me. We're losing him! We're losing him! He's dying! No, We're... no, 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 I'm just resting. I'm just resting. Oh, I was just resting. Did I hurt you? Yes. Yeah,